Last week on Sailing Ruby Rose, we completed our third and final leg of our Atlantic crossing. We sailed from Horta in the Azores to Lagos in southern Portugal and boy were we glad to get in at long last. Well, yeah. what are we doing? Well, it's time for the uh, prize giving ceremony. Ooh, and what are we going to win? We might win a participation. Yeah, we'll be, it'll be like the kids that really have got like a foot We've missing got, like, at school. Park. We may win slowest boat. Slowest boat. I think we were the slowest boat. One of the best things about doing any kind of long ocean crossing is, in my opinion, getting in at the very end of it. So one of the great things about the rallies is that they really help you to celebrate. They throw parties, there's free booze, there's free food, and we have a prize giving ceremony. Predictably, Nick and I did not win any prizes, but we did get a little plaque and a bottle of champagne. Ruby Rose for next any questions about doing a rally versus doing it alone then please comment down below and we'll be sure to answer them well it's tuesday evening yes and a week ago someone had their birthday that someone was me so it was you so this evening we're having a belated birthday for you aren't we we are having a belated birthday what are we doing huh what are we doing have you planned a very uh, extravagant planned. and romantic night out I've planned a massive extravaganza, which probably means you went on TripAdvisor, found a restaurant you want to go to, and now you're taking me to it <laughs> using a map that you've downloaded off the internet or memorized to your brain. Whereas I will just turn up like some sort of savagely lame sheepdog to eat and then go to sleep. The night you plan a romantic evening for me is a night of the Why like do birds suddenly appear? You had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too Happy birthday Happy birthday my love How's the food? It's amazing. The food is so good. We were too greedy to film our first course. We've actually already eaten. This is just our second course. But yeah, it's awesome. I'm so what have we got? Uh, we have Pepper's de Patron, which are these little beauties. I think they're actually Galician. They are Galician. They were on the menu, so we ordered them. They're really, really good. And we have uh, prawns in some kind of sauce that I don't know, like a tomato based sauce. And we had, what do we have for our starter? We had like mozzarella. Mozzarella was awesome. And we had like a meat platter with salami and like hummus and some kind of pate. A few other bits and pieces. Really good bread. I've got a glass of wine. I'm happy. And I'm already thinking about dessert. So your final course is what? Yes, and I've already taken a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> Little guts that you are. It's panna cotta with some kind of like lemon curd and like a biscuity thing. It looks like fairly standard, but it tastes bloody amazing. It's very citrusy, very fresh. Perfect after a big meal. <laughs> Plenty of the palate, over. <laughs> yeah, it no, is actually. Yeah. Well. We've been in Portugal for a couple of days now? Five days. Five days? Yeah. What are your thoughts now that we're back? Well, we're just having this conversation and that's that we just look so, so pleased we left in Europe. Couldn't be happy with that decision. It felt a bit random at the time. I feel 
like we didn't really think it through very well. <laughs> um, I think that we definitely made a lot of sense. I'm thrilled to be back in Europe. And I'm very excited to be in Lagos. It's, it's very charming. Yeah, it is very charming. And, yeah, the, did we mention the food? <laughs> <laughs> awesome food. Yeah, the, the food here is fantastic. Um, and cheap. Yeah. I mean, basically. Almost as important. I think, you know, we travel around the world eating a lot and I would say I that on average the restaurants are probably 50% of the cost of the places we eat in the States. Yeah. Yeah, so it's about, yeah, yeah food costs here, like restaurant food. And it's really good quality food. It's not like we're just eating at Hungry Jack's or Burger King. No, we went to like quite high end. Yeah, yeah. So for those of you who watch what we do and decide to come traveling to Europe, Come to Lagos in Portugal. <laughs> it's sunny, it's beautiful, and it's cheap. It's really awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We had originally planned to only stay in Lagos for a few days, but in the end, we ended up staying for over two weeks. And well, I think it's pretty obvious why. So it's got like honey in it, like the taxi's got honey. There's also like an aftertaste of smoke. So it's kind of like not oaked but smoked. It's different. I like it. And I can also smell from the flavors you get absolutely as well. What'd you get there, Nick? Rum and yeah, raisin yeah, ice cream. Here. And? There's no raisins in it, there's just rum ice cream. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to subscribe, turn on your notification bell and all our social medias down below. Join us next week where we anchor in Alvor. It's one of our favorite anchorages ever. It's an inland lake, totally serene, totally amazing. And we lift the keel and park the boat almost on the beach. 